Hello everyone. Today we are starting case series 2 in our advanced MS Excel course. Idea is to analyze the sales data with the help of pivot table in Excel. So far we have done four tutorials in one case, but we have not touched pivot table. That will be covered in tutorials later on, but idea here is to keep all advanced users active with us. I am Saurabh Jain from Business Intelligence and Analytics website. So I welcome you on the course on BI and Analytics with MS Excel. Let's start. So today we have a case study where we have hardware stores, local hardware stores and they sell, there are two local stores. First name is up down store and second name is down south, downtown store and they sell products 10 type of tapes, 10 type of adhesives and 10 type of safety equipments. So we have a table like product, month, store and price. Say tape number 10 is the product. In month of April in downtown store there was a sale of $2.50. Fine. So like this we have a data. So now we will like to analyze. We have some questions and we will try to solve our take the answers with the help of pivot tables. Let's start. First of all, we have a question. What percentage of sales occur at each store? Say if we have total sales of 100%, how much sale has been done at store number 1 and how much has been done in store number 2? So let's start. Look, here we have a data. Complete set of data is available. Fine. And we have to use pivot table. So what I'll do is I'll go into insert tab and put pivot table. I will say in the new worksheet. So we have this pivot table and we have some options coming up. We are not going into details of how pivot table work that will be covered in separate tutorial but idea is to find the things. So you have filters, columns, rows and values. These are four columns where we'll be working on and this is a table header of product, month, store and price. So let's take store. So we have downtown store and uptown store. Now I say price. So here comes sum of price. Fine. But so we say that there are 4985 and 4606 dollars that has been used. Now what I'll do is I'll click in sum and go into value field settings and we'll do show value as and I'll say percent of column total and click OK. So I have 51% for downtown, 52 and almost 48% for uptown. OK, one more thing. I'll go into value field setting again. And I will say number format and I'll do it currency and because by default is Indian rupee I want to convert into US dollar so I'll go like this and we'll press OK OK so I have a sorry uh, I did a mistake control Z we have to keep in percentage only so if we have a revenue then we can convert it like this and now I can change the header revenue percent ok so this is our first question we have solved it out fine we change the header name we change we did a formatting which was not needed but yes we learned how to do formatting also so this is our question number one next question what percentage of sales occur at each month so now my objective is to identify how much percentage of sales has been done at each month let's start try it again i'll go again into the data set i put insert pivot table 
I say in the new worksheet it has been we need to check whether our data is captured in the, within the right table or not I click OK now my question was I have to take month and I have to take again price like this fine we need to do percent also so what I can do I can drag price again into this value setting see now what will happen fine and now I do value field setting show value as percent of column total okay and this time I do value field setting number format currency and change to that I was doing earlier mm. okay okay so look we have the data that in January we have dollar 845 sales and which was 8.81 percent so we can even change the header like total revenue percent revenue like that. fine so this we have done for month wise let's do let's go into the next question how much revenue does each product generate so I want to know we have 10 type of tapes we have 10 type of adhesives and 10 type of safety equipments so how much revenue actually they are generating let's try to do this now so let's go back into the data table fine I'll go insert pivot table again into another sheet I say product price so here comes our result like this and again that I can do number format I can do currency sheets like this okay so have we have this answer also fine let's do something more into this sheet how much revenue does each product generate which product generates 80 percent of revenue we have heard about Pareto 80 20 principle which says 80% of revenue is generated from top 20% products. So let's see which are the top products which are generating 80% of revenue. How we will solve this question? <coughs> Should we start with this table only? Okay. So what I'll do is I'll select this row label. I'll say value filter and go into top 10. Now it says top 10 items by sum of price but instead of that I will do top 80 percent so top 80 percent sum of price we can do revenue also header change that can be done and I click OK so here comes safety 1, safety 2, safety 7, safety 8, tape 10 and tape 7 these are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 products which are generating 80 percent of revenue so this has been solved fine let's move ahead with another thing use of report filters and slicers let's work on to this <laughs> hmm. what i'll do is let's get back into data and pivot table is all about report filters and slicers so how that works so let's take a fresh pivot table again insert pivot table fine so here we have a blank template let's take product this time I'll taking product into the filter see what will happen take month and I'm also taking a store when I take month and store in this row 
it goes like this so i'll take into column heading store so see column ones come at top and row comes in the left the fields of the row come into left side and the columns become header in the top fine and i'll say again price and that comes the value price like this so now we have the value in the down store say for january month we have products all product sale is equals to 42 dollars for downturn and 360 dollars 360 dollars for uptown so like this we can do now say if i want to only see there is option okay i want to see only adhesive one nothing else i'll say okay so i have a report readily available okay this was a sale in september october december like this fine so you can even select multiple products say i say select multiple products and i see adhesive one adhesive three adhesive three all the adhesives i can take so i have a data available like this for these products so this is the use of filters now we can plan accordingly see if i want to see only downtown store downtown so i'll just select downtown and it will show only downtown so like these are the filters that we have been doing now i will talk about you with slices what are these slices see when you click on pivot table we have a pivot table analyze now you have a option insert slicer so when i do insert slicer say i do for products and i say okay now when i do this there are lots of products so i am not able to see properly i will click products yeah. and then there is a slicer tab coming up and i say number of columns be say 5 okay so now i have now i can choose from here say if i want to do safety 2 my table will change for safety 2 i can choose control to select multiple products like this fine and say if i take another slicer i'll go into this power pivot sorry uh, when i collect this this there is a pivot table analyze i again going to the slicer and say i also do for store okay so now i have option now for downtown store for these three products so now i can do multiple i have any question say tell me what is the sales for adhesive 8 for uptown i will just select that and there so this is a slicers so this is how slicer works so like this we can play with pivot table to answer all our queries and we can analyze data in a smarter way let's move ahead ah i want you all we have a facebook page with free advanced ms excel course where i am also uploading these videos and also on our youtube channel so i request you all please like this page and we when when, when i am sharing this video please share with all the excel users this is a free course and we'll be doing it for say around 100 days where we'll be take one tutorial and cases simultaneously and this will be a great way of learning i am i i assure you you will have a great learning and it will be fun when all excel users will come on the together on the website and we will learn new things from each other also so there will be a common get together sessions also in the course tutorial so be with me be in touch with me so in this today's learning we have that pivot table can be used to slice and dice the sales data and smart use of value field settings capabilities often the key performance performing the needed calculations so we need to understand where to put value settings how to do it how do you like this video please share with me your feedback is very important please write comments and you can download this case from our website bi-analytics.org where you will find a club with a course on business intelligence uh, on excel where you can download these files i request you 
please write your feedback if you are liking this we are also looking forward to create whatsapp groups where we all can connect with each other and you can get a video directly on whatsapp but i need support that i want these videos i want this is a this is just a starting of this course and it will be a long journey say for 100 days it will be a huge i will try to cover anything everything of the excel so i look forward for your help that please help me in sharing this video this is much important thank you very much